Hi guys, here it is finally, after me promising it for so long, so happy to be able to show you my dad's Ford Anglia 105e. Where'd I start? Don't know if I mentioned the title or not. This is Ford Anglia 105e. Dad's owned it for over 20 years now. Uh, bought completely stock. I'll show you a picture. Uh, quite a low mileage example. 40,000 on the clock. And then things started to dramatically change. So I'll try and keep this quite high level. I'll certainly go into a full spec video soon, but at the moment, SR20. There are so many trick bits, I'd, like I said, I think this would probably take another video to go into the spec, hopefully there's a few Ford lovers that would like to hear it. Um, to go over the my favourite bits, um, we have a five link set up at the back, which is actually sited on top of a Jeep Grand Cherokee axle, obviously shortened to fit the extremely narrow 105e frame. Um, on top of that we've got five link uh, coilovers at the rear and they won't want me to show you because it's full of stuff but the back seats are still intact in the car so a few custom chops and changes under there. So I think this car is probably reasonably well known online now. I think Mark 1 Kieran's video is probably one of the most popular things that has happened where we took it down to Santa Pod where we ran 11.7 quarter mile. Got to say it was running a lot less power than what it is at the moment and again you'll hate me for saying it but it would be absolutely lovely to run a 10 in this. Now on to the good bit, the engine. So what we have here is a built SR20, low compression. We have the latest Garrett GT550 turbo on the back of here. So manifold, stainless manifold down there built by my dad. Custom exhaust setup, all done by him as well. Get a tile wastegate. Fuel wise, we've got an injector dynamics, 1000cc injectors onto a <coughs> Greddy inlet manifold. All the goodies inside, like I say, I, I don't mind. I would actually love to do a detailed video if it interests people. I'll just kind of touch on the high, high stuff. So at the moment, we are running low boost, 1.3 bar and we made just over 400 brake horsepower. I think we want a wee touch more than that, but I've got to say, very impressed with this new turbo. Uh, before, this car was very laggy. Um, now, it's almost as if you're driving a non-turboed car. And sorry, the indicator's literally been taken out yesterday. It's normally intact. So I don't think, honestly I don't think I'll say this too often, but this is probably 
my favourite car anyway. I don't expect to get something better than this, unless someone can possibly do that for me, but uh, I absolutely love this. Can't wait. I absolutely love driving it. I will, uh, again, please let me know if you like it. I'm happy to sit and talk for hours about this and take it a drive. We're obviously going to take it drag racing. Uh, I'd like to film the next rolling road where we'll hopefully tune this up a wee bit, a wee bit higher boost, maybe even run, I don't know, a wee bit of launch control maybe. Is that too, is that too advanced for an old car like that? Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, please let me know if you like it. Like I say, I can't wait to film some more on this and hope. And guys, thanks again for watching.